Welcome to the GigaHub Network. Tonight we review the 2022 film in the Predator franchise, Prey. You know, joining me as always is Daikaiju Tony and Luis De La Torre. After the review, we're going to hey. do a little Q&A and let's get right into it. Prey is the 2022 not so new but hotly anticipated next installment in the not so storied Predator franchise. Prey began streaming about two months ago and on August 5th on both Hulu and sorry about on both Hulu and Disney Plus. So far, the film has garnered mostly positive reviews, which is good. But you know, what did I think about it? Well, Predator Films as a whole, <laughs> they've maintained a basic plot, uh, that a basic plot structure that pretty much revolves around, well, you know, predators hunting prey, with the focus almost always focusing on the prey's point of view. With the lone exception, of course, being Alien vs. Predator Requiem. In that film, the focus, well, after all the teenage BS, the focus was primarily on the even more highly specialized predator known as the wolf, sent to clean up the mess that the absolutely ridiculous alien predator hybrid was just causing all around this silly CW style town. The wolf was clearly an allusion to Pulp Fiction and he clearly displayed the best acting in a predator suit out of any of these predator films. But you know what, enough about that. We're talking about Prey. This plot, it has a young girl raised in the shadow of her brother's superior hunting skills. You know, as she herself wants to be a hunter and has in her own right a very strong set, if slightly different, of her own hunting and stalking skills. Uh, she works hard and, you know, the excellence of this script and dialogue created a realistic drama. You know, it, it, it did in that her primary antagonist is not her brother. It's not even the other hunters or her family or tribe. It's not even the predator. But the primary antagonist is rather the chip on her shoulder that she has in trying to compete directly with her brother. Um, this often leads to her extending herself too far and failing embarrassingly, you know, in, in the process of her competing. Even by her brother's own admission, in one scene, she possesses, he admits that she possesses skills he simply doesn't have. This theme is a welcome one using smart writing and avoiding typical action tropes, far too common in most action movies. Her family, on the other, and the other hunters are, at worst, dismissive, sometimes antagonistic, especially when she's kind of breaking the rules. But at best, they're very supportive, and their frustration is obvious at their own inability to help her understand her own shortcomings and faults. And herein lies the strength of this film. But the character, I mean, well, the characters, you know, they were all believable. I thought they were all believable. And the acting, well, nothing, tr nothing was truly outstanding. And it didn't need to be. It was better than serviceable in most cases. And it did help sell the story well. Everybody was actually very believable in their parts. The overall pacing for me was good, but a bit reserved for the action-hungry moviegoer. I, for one, love a, show a slower story that lets the characters breathe a little. And I think the director seemed to want his characters to breathe a little too. And I, I did appreciate that. The music in this film, it, it served the story well. And it was usually understated, which is really perfect for most movies. And although it was very heavy in strings, it did have a strong underlying drum beat, which also served the era and the focus well. The film is beautifully shot, but it also stayed away from anything too crazy or too avant-garde. And the, minim the minimalistic production design... It really did work well for the setting and the era, and it never really felt like it was just too much. It did keep the feel of being out into the wilds, even when the European trappers were introduced much later in this film. Special effects nowadays really have advanced to the point of judging a film on whether they did or they did not work in the service of that film wonky CGI that pulls one out of a film being probably the largest offender nowadays. This film kept it, for the most part, pretty simple, and it all worked to tell the story. 
the fact that I did not notice any pacing or editing issues, that really was also a major plus. It is hard to say if this film will revitalize the, fran the Predator franchise, especially after the debacle that was, th that was The Predator in 2018. But at the very least, it was a return to form as to what made Predator from 1987 so good in the first place. This film, although the protagonist's basic solution being the same as the Arnold Schwarzenegger version, added a good enough change to the overall plot that it elevated this film above Arnold's more typical 80s action plot. There was one plot device which tried to use the concept of Chekhov's gun to bring about its resolution, but, you know, honestly, for me, this point, this point is where I felt the story failed a little bit, and it felt poorly contrived and thought out. But it did not ruin my overall enjoyment of this film. As a Predator fan... You know, I was satisfied, and I really hope this leads to more Predator films in the future. At least that's my hope. And that is my review, so let's jump into some Q&A. So what's up, guys? How'd you feel about okay. this movie? Okay. Uh, I, I thought it was great. I mean, overall, yeah. I, I think I agree with you there. There's a lot in the story that really... I, I think people forget how important it is to let things kind of sit for a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think we're kind of in a place where they just kind of want to see stuff all the time, all the time like always yeah. with the stimulation, right? right? But yeah, any any anything that stops to take a, a quick beat to just let something sit for a little bit right. is greatly appreciated, especially you know nowadays. Right, right. Cool, Tony. What you got? I do a lot. Um, I would. Okay, well. I really do think the protagonist in this movie is as good as the protagonist in the Alien movies, Ripley, because, you know, you could, you could tell that she's, like, under pressure because of the, how would I say it? She's under pressure because of her role and yeah. everything else. And the shadow of her brother, yeah. Yeah, and you get to see her overcome it during the situation with the predator itself and right. that it's awesome oh right, yeah i agree um she had to figure it out unfortunately it cost a few lives first but I, <laughs> she did get it figured out um, i mean you gotta have to you kill did, to make it more interesting right <laughs> you say did you say this movie was better than the first one i i think it elevated Close. itself above the first one as far as a drama i wouldn't say it's better than the first predator I mean, I think the first Predator mm -hmm. is probably a superior action film, but I wouldn't say this is a pure action film. This is more like an action drama. Okay. Where would you rank yeah, them in I... your ranking of Predator movies? Well, that's a good question. Well, you know, I would say third. And um, the reason why okay. the reason why is... Uh, oh, is, is yeah, I, I would say third too, actually. Most of the Predator movies aren't very good. <laughs> I mean, um, no... Predators. And, and of okay. course, as much as I love the 1987 Predator film with Arnold Schwarzenegger, that's actually number two. And I know Luis is going to agree with me. The best Predator film is Predator 2. It's still the best movie, right? <laughs> I knew oh, I love, dude, I love Predator 2. I love too, Predator yeah. 2. I do too. Um, but everyone this, was like, everyone, everyone's like, that movie's that movie's pretty good. But like, Danny Glover, I'm like, yeah, Danny Glover, yeah, why yeah. not Danny freaking Glover? That movie was badass. He was just a guy who. It was an awesome he, movie. He's just a dude. He did. He was a dude that didn't know quit. That was it. Yeah, he wasn't a I mean, special forces exactly. guy. He was just some guy who said who, who refused to say no. Who refused. I mean, to Predator say no. did have like one of the best death scenes ever with the voodoo guy, oh, yeah, where yeah, he yeah. just like <laughs> to his head. Yeah, but now, to be fair, those two movies are pure action films. Where this, like I said, I think it's more of an action drama. And I think that does help the story. But uh, it's a little bit apples and oranges. But as far as Predator movies, yeah, I gotta go third. It definitely elevated itself above every other Predator movie pretty damn quickly. So Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely got up there. It's, it's hard to say where it is exactly. I mean, you know, like... 
the first two are nostalgic, right? At least right. to me. The first Predator film I saw was Predator 2 when I was a kid. Oh, really? <laughs> so nice. that holds like a special <laughs> place in my heart, yeah. Right, right. Um, before I saw the first one, I didn't even know the first one existed. Oh, really? <laughs> Sure, I saw the second one, yeah. Um, but this definitely shot its way up there. I really liked the story. I thought everything was. I love like the the ideas of the idea of like a predator in like different parts of uh, history. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Taking now, on the warriors of the time. I think that's a pretty cool concept, and this this did it really well. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Now I only seen the movie one time, and um, did the. If, do you recall at any point the movie mentioning about the climate of the area? No, the, you know they've no? Pr they've pretty much got away from that. I think. In the okay. First, in the first AVP, they were already away from the concept of being a hot year. But, okay, um, because well, with the predator, with the first movie, the predator chose to uh, hunt during hot climate in the jungle. Yeah, and predator two, it happened during the summer of LA. Yeah, it certainly implied, the early Predator films did certainly imply that uh, the Predator species, whatever it is, has a, uh, has a, has a, preferred, has a preferred climate. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, they've definitely got away from that, right? AVP, the first AVP, they got away from yeah. that pretty fast. <laughs> they ran Antarctica for crying out loud. So. Yeah. <laughs> was a second one of those wasn't there i don't think i ever saw that one it's you know it's not good uh, and and it's very it's very dark it's hard to see but uh, you know the wolf predator, okay but the first one was the wolf predator was just amazing like i i can watch that movie again just for that guy or whoever that predator is because he's basically it is an illusion of pulp fiction he's the wolf he's there to clean up the mess but yeah. uh you know he just there's this part where he's doing his best and things are clearly getting out of control and he's sitting in this tree just like <laughs> and it's just it's great <laughs> but the movie is terrible yeah. so that's a mood right there right, yeah, yes yeah. and it seems like the director hates children <laughs> yeah yeah it, other than that when the predator and the stupid ass predator predator alien hybrid are not on screen it feels like a cw film it's yeah. just, it's just not good. <laughs> uh, what do you think the, of that this? one and oh, the Predators? The only one I haven't seen the, the Predators? 2018 one. Oh, the 2018 one was bad. Yeah, it was. I, that one and the, and the second AVP are the only Predator movies I haven't seen. Yeah, it, uh, the Predators was, of course. I, honestly, I thought that movie was really good until the la the third act is. It seemed to like fall flat in the third act. It didn't make a whole lot of sense. It's like they had a decent right. movie going on, and then they just kind of like let's throw a bunch of crap in there because people are gonna get <laughs> bored or something. I don't know. It's just bad. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, you know, I Predators. I really enjoy watching until like right as the third act starts. You're like, uh, what happened? <laughs> we just took a left turn, Clyde. What happened? But uh, yeah. Any other thoughts for me, guys? Or well, what'd you think of the Predator's design in this movie and his gadgets? Um, oh, the very primitive predator, yeah. I, you know, I thought about that a lot. At first, I didn't like it, but I think the only reason I initially didn't like it was because it did look different. But I figured, you know what? If you're this, if you're this significantly advanced species, his look really played into their sort of technology level, where he would just look like some kind of weird monster or demon. They wouldn't yeah. know what the hell he was, you know. Yep. Um, yeah. So, so I didn't mind that so much. Um, you know, you know the muskets. I mean, and his little shield, whatever. It was fine. I, it's fine. It's well, a it's, it's a predator. One kind of thing about all predator movies is they always have a new gadget, right? So I mean, I, I could get over a lot of that, honestly. And I, I didn't want to. I was trying to avoid spoilers, but the one gadget that she sort of got control of was that little point that just sort of irritated me. Like, I think if he would have lost his mask, he would have figured out. I need to put my gun on fucking manual and take it off automatic because that's stupid, right? <laughs> yeah. But, but I mean, other than that, I liked it. It didn't ruin. It didn't ruin the movie for me. So yeah. What'd you guys think of the primitive yeah. look? The sort of bony, I like, I liked bony it. mask. Yeah. I liked it. I think I think it went with the with the whole aesthetic of like we're going back in history, right? We're going back in time. Right. They're they're also a living species. Why wouldn't they be a little more primitive looking? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just that idea that they are a little bit more, like even a little scarier, a little more savage than their right. more modern day iterations, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Um, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I thought it looked cool as hell, and I love the helmet. 
Oh, yeah, so yeah. It, oh that was awesome. Yeah. His face is cool too. His more flat looking face. Yeah. 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 I, like I, you I, might as, like if you can't like really re recapture the look of the original Predator because even after um the second okay even after when Predators tried remaking the first Predator design the talons and the mouth still didn't look right. It, like if you can't remake the original look, you just might as well change it up to be a whole new species again the the one thing and this is purely now i mean i'm nitpicking but the one thing i don't like with the newer predator look is his mouth and it's not the talons those are fine i like the idea of having him having this really tiny mouth where he's like a crab and he has to use those talons basically to eat i like that that seems more natural to me giving him a more of a more of like a lion or a cat mouth was like eh, i don't know I, I kind of like that he had this weird little, as Gary Busey's character. No, who called it that? Somebody, I think it was the first Predator. They called him Pussy Face. I no, mean, that's Predator Two. Yeah. No, right? second, second. Is it the second Predator? Yeah. Gary Busey, right? Donald Glover calls him that. Yeah. Okay. But I kind of like that idea. Like it's like a crab where you, they have to kind of rip their food apart and like put little pieces in, because you know crabs are absolutely <laughs> vicious and uh, <laughs> they only have tiny little mouths. So yep. I, I like that aspect. So. Now, if Neca still had the license to make. Alien and Predator toys, man, that action figure. Matter of fact, I don't, I don't think about it. There hasn't been any merchandise for this movie right. <laughs> yet. I, I think, that, yeah, I was going to say they were probably just trying to see how it did. And since it was streaming, there's no numbers on it, so I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't even know any Funkos because I don't really do like the design, and it's one of those designs I wouldn't mind having an action figure of. Right. All right, guys. Any it's only a matter of time yeah. before they put something out. Right. Um, any last thoughts? Any final thoughts before we get out of here? Do you give number ratings? Oh, sure. I can give it a... Let's see. Since I reviewed it, I will give it out of four stars. I will give it a solid three. A solid three. Solid three out of four? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Solid three. Yeah. How about you, Louis? Say three. Three and a half, maybe. Three and a half. I thought I was. It was very highly enjoyable. I thought it. Let's like you said. The pacing was good. The story was good. I just. I really am in love with the idea of like going back into history and fighting like people, like the warriors of that particular era. That era you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I kind of want the them to do a little more of that. At the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'd love to see like a. Oh, I'd love to see like a samurai one or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That'd be I think that would be fun. That would be. That fun. could be fun. <laughs> that would know? be fun. Yeah, Seven Samurai. Yeah. Versus the Predator. That's what this movie was. This movie was fun. You know what? This, <laughs> I watched this with my girlfriend. Yeah. This is the first Predator movie she ever saw. Oh wow! How'd she like? Yeah. It? So, she loved it. Yeah. So now I got to show her all the other stuff. But I mean, technically, it's a prequel, so it's not like she. It's not like <laughs> anything was spoiled that, for her. That's true. <laughs> I yeah. didn't think of it that yeah. way. It's a prequel by right. like 400 years or 300 years. It's a prequel, years. yeah, <laughs> exactly. French, French trappers and uh, early early indigenous French Americans, yeah. So, yeah. I gotta say, those French trappers, like, they didn't back down either. That was oh. funny. Like, they oh, knew oh, this thing bro. was a monster. They're just, they did, none of them ran away, so. They're like, let's hunt it. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, let's, I, I would have been gone. I would have left. I would have just dropped the gun. Exactly. Run, 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 run as fast as I can. That's what I would have done. Nice, yeah, yeah. Bust off something like that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, cool. It's cool. a good movie. Sounds good. All right, cool. So thanks, guys. And uh, next, or uh, you know, let us know what you think. You know, if if you disagree with us, if you thought it was terrible, let us know. If you got any thoughts you want to add to our thoughts, let us know. Um, you know, and also like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps us out. The bell icon helps us even more. And uh, really, that's all I got for you. Hopefully, we're going to be a little more consistent now. Um, well, hopefully, we'll be more consistent now. There were some things that happened over the summer that uh, really, really slowed down our pace. But we're looking to get back on track. So uh, thanks, guys, and uh, good night. Good night.